Greetings, dear ones. So we had just been through the 1111 portal, and before that we had this eclipse season. And when we have done so much internal work, we have cleared so much, we have healed so much, and we have received so much new light and upgrades. And if you watched the pre my previous video, the 1111 Gateway activation, it was all about activating our pineal gland and connecting to the white flame of ascension. So this was a very powerful activation and for me I, sh I channeled this, this flame uh, twice. I did it on both my channels and so I was... Um, it, it took me a couple of days to really align with energies and really integrate them and to ground them in into my system and I start to come out from the turbulence and so what I want to talk to you about today is the importance of grounding and connecting to our our root chakra and our earth star chakra when we have received um, these intense upgrades and it is important to do it on a regular basis uh, to do it daily is uh, is uh, highly recommended i for myself i do it daily and sometimes uh, multiple times during the day um, just a quick connection and just uh, this um, intention to really ground so what happens is when uh, we we do have all these different layers and different bod bodies from this very physical, very dense body and to the very subtle ones that is um, in the outer fields of our, our uh, auric field. And so when we receive anything or when we heal anything, it goes through each of those layers and until it comes into this physical body. So that, that's the process. So if you have been through something or if you have done some healing and you don't fully feel the effect, it takes some time. It, many times it takes up to two weeks when I uh, see people in sessions. I, it is, I, I would say two weeks is the integration period. And so when we receive this light codes and when we, we, we agree to receive more light what happens is that these codes and this light is first connecting to our auric field we receive them as a potential in our auric field and then we need to be present and we need to ground for them to enter in for them to fully fully connect with us for them to become our full experience our reality our and to manifest in physical form so if you are someone who um, know that you've done so much inner work and uh, been very dedicated but do not really feel the result of it it may be that you don't really ground them in. So many of us have this tendency to to fly high. We want to go there. We want to just feel this higher connection. We want to be in the higher, our higher higher chakras, and because this gives us some kind of um, uplifting feeling. Um, if you have had a hard time in this lifetime on, on earth as I know many of you have we tend to want to avoid being this body avoid connecting with our physical body and our physical life and the physical um, doings and the steps we need to take in the in our 
um, everyday life and what happens is that we get overwhelmed we just keep collecting this light and these downloads in our auric field but we don't help them to ground we don't fully anchor them in and um, this is also has to do with finding our life purpose so the earth star chakra is also helping us to navigate through this earthly life to help us to connect on a deeper deeper level to earth to the core of mother earth and to the uh, collective of humanity as well the earth star chakra is the foundation for the whole chakra system and so we need to really uh, feel into this um, energy center <clears throat> and with intention uh, be present in these lower energy bodies and lower energy centers and what I see as well when I work with people is that uh, we have come to a crucial point where we are truly start to manifest and activate what we have received received what we have been through and to we are start to harvest uh, this the seeds the plants that we have planted right uh, the fruits of our inner work and for do be able to fully do that we have to be present in our physical bodies so if you are someone who just want to do these uh, higher spiritual practices and doing more and more and more and not give yourself time to fully just just be i know there are many out there and i used to be that myself um, because it is almost addictive right uh, this is a very important step for you it is and it will change so much for you because when we receive the light we also become aware of our, our shadows and when that starts to happen we tend to want to um, um, escape the body escape the heaviness but we then what happens is that we don't help the integration system we don't help with the alchemical process to really allow the light to wash away the shadows to become fully aware of them to feel them in our bodies and see what patterns we hold see what the life the light is here to to replace and then we just go away to somewhere else to receive more light more light uh, but we really fully have to have to be present and choose the whole process and so know that if you have been through deep healing been through this gr a great uh, <clears throat> activations and this, and if things starts to come up and you feel out of alignment it is you not you are not out of alignment it is just showing you what is next for you to embrace in the presence of your light and when we connect to the light it's not the light somewhere else it's not just the light from above it's also the light from mother earth it's the light within you and that's the most important so how can we be present and how can we sense feel see and know this light if we are not here if we're not at home in our core and to be at home in our core it means to fully experience what is happening fully embrace the initiations to say yes to that next step this is not working out for you because you hold this pattern still this is still unhealed this is an invitation to release are you willing so if this is something you experience after this very intense weeks and months we've been through uh, know that 
that is perfect and don't get overwhelmed it's all right if you get overwhelmed but know that you're not lost and remember to come back to alignment again and again choose to come back and be present choose to see where you try to avoid and where you try to escape and where you try to project outwards what is happening inside of you see people and circumstances as your great teachers because that's what they are right take full responsible of your journey and it will take you far but be here and be here now we choose to come into a physical form and we choose we chose to make, make this journey of remembrance in this most dense um, bodies, realities, and as well <clears throat> the most, as these bodies, they, they are um, proofs for separation, right? We are unique, different bodies and we choose to remember oneness and unity in this form and that's that's a huge thing so dear ones i have for us today um grounding and reconnecting with the root chakra and the earth star chakra <clears throat> to really fully ground these energies in and we will do do this by the, using Reiki, the Holy Flame, as well as Light Language. So, take your time to come into a relaxed state. You can stand up or you can sit down, eyes open or closed. Just feel your f f uh, whole body full. And become aware of your breath in the lower aspects of your torso. Drop your attention from your head into the base, into your hips. And, and choose to connect to your root chakra. And your root chakra is located at the base of your spine as well as your earth star chakra and your earth star chakra is your first non-physical chakra it's not located in your physical body it is about it is under your feet about 15 centimeters six inches uh, below your feet and it is still in it is in your auric field <clears throat> and it is the connection to the ascended mother earth to your life purpose, to your inherited wisdom and knowing to your abundance as well. Just relax and allow yourself at this point to fully be here now. And you can do this healing and balancing every day if you wish to, whenever you feel um, fragmented or not here, scattered, and just need, feel a need to come down, come back, come home. So feel and see, sense your root chakra expanding, starting to move and light up with this soft orange red light. And allow it 
to fully warm your hip area. Kintaranaki Shoto Shao Kashan Arasa Shadranakoko Runotoshan Enor Nashai Tinapar Tiarka Koshasai And now, see, imagine, sense your earth star chakra with this grey silver light just below you in earth. And see how this energy center is glowing up, start to rotate and expanding. And just it's, what is needed is your intention to connect to these energy centers. Kimpur Toshan Aitrashan Ayukuranashasan, as we call upon Archangel Senaphon. To help us to balance, help us to activate these energy centers, help us to ground. And we are now pulling all the activation codes, all the light codes that you have received in the past weeks that is <clears throat> lingering in your auric field. We pull them in through your crown with assistance of your higher self all the way down through your central column blessing every chakra as it passes by softly kissing them with this new light of healing, of activation, of knowing, of remembrance. So we are activating the Soul Star Chakra just above your head. See it glow and expand as all the light codes is entering in here. And just to get ready to receive them as you open up your crown and the white light from your soul star chakra just above your head is pouring out light into your crown just as much as you are capable to handle at this time and at once. Shintre kim narana kosush e narata shikosho. And see how this is glowing up your crown chakra. Make it, make it come into balance and start rotating. And breathe as it passes through your head, lightening up your pineal gland the pituitary gland. Kursanaya kin aranashi no lighting up with a soft, warm light, more soft than intense. Your whole head area kitrasha narana, urtu kusandrasha koronoshai. Keep moving through your throat, blessing your throat chakra. Make it expand and opening up both front and back. Perkin turunoshun ai ikur sashai urushanai okun ayatunoshai. Activate it with divine truth, with divine light, divine expression. And all you need to do right now is to relax, receive. Soften, breathe. Parkashi nur usutrashan. Imu nuruku shayana. Relax your body as the light continues down through your higher chakra, 
the starts to expand and glow, start to rotate, coming alive. I feel how it's filled with white, soft warmth. Purku tarana kinurunu, tunurana kin arati sana yukushai. Continue blessing your heart chakra, karanati shan aranai. That is expanding, that is filling your chest with a soft white light, with this glow of warmth. Of, with the presence of love, with blessings of peace. Can you feel how this, this makes you relax even deeper? Nothing for you to do at this time. You are here to receive. Allow the universe to work its magic you have done your part, you have been willing, you have received. Now, allow it to manifest. Allow this divine feminine energies to work through you as your cup is being filled with its divine blessings. And the light continues blessing your solar plexus. <clears throat> Bow your belly button, Parkanayana Shitro, warming it, make it rotate, expanding. Give it that push that maybe is needed right now. That inspiration that new energy washing away all fears out of this energy center all third dimensional has to and need to and should and just receive this balancing of divine energies entering in this new fuel of Higher inspiration, I want to. Feel excitement. Feel a new sense of energy. Alert and still relax. As the light continues down, Blessing your second chakra, your sacral chakra. Filling your whole belly with light. Soft, gentle. Bringing peace and the sensation of safety that all is well. All is well. All is in order. And continue to the root at the base of your spine and see again how this energy center is being filled with light. Starts to expand, starts to rotate, and as it rotates, and the new light is anchoring in. It rotates out everything that you do not need anymore. Allow you to come to a state of being at home in your physical body, feeling safe on earth. Know that you are provided for. Know that you are divinely guided. Know that all that you will need will come to you in the right timing. And when we feel safe, 
we connect to joy and when we connect to joy we connect to gratitude put a soft smile on your face for everything you receive and are about to manifest and the light continues down down into your earth star chakra that is act being activated is glowing and starts rotating connecting you deeper into the core of mother earth calling you home knowing that this is your place right now that your physical body is your tool for ascension it is encoded with the frequencies of who you truly are and when you are present in your physical body and receiving this light not somewhere else not out there but in fully present this is how you remember and when we remember the truth all illusions we held as truth will be exposed and we will be given the choice to let them go so this is what we are facing right now and when our cells receive this new light the old outdated pains and sorrows and frustration anger that has been stored in ourselves from generations now comes to the surface and are ready to leave so don't push it back feel it fully as you align with the light as you stay grounded as you meet everything in peace in trust that you are on the right path you are doing it right and all the light codes continues through our roots down into the core of mother earth where it is connected to the ascended grid lines of Gaia so this feeds her with new energies to bring forth heaven on earth and this will become visible in your physical life this is how you bless mother Gaia and this is how she blesses you back so this is a full circle of receiving and integrating planting the seeds and now dear ones just stay here, here for a while kuntar kin ariti sunnuru shashan minuru kosho noyuto shai and feel how this light continues to effortless flow through your inner column shuru sunu very soft very gentle nuru shana eki nuru shasan deep into the core of Gaia Kurushana Itasan Hu Kuru and now, now I'm closing your energy field helping to integrate and excessive energies Murukunu that may have been stuck here may have made you feel ungrounded scattered so we like a soft Ball, wrap you, your, you and your energy field in <clears throat> these energies of soft white light make you feel safe and held and calm calming your mental body 
calming your emotional body as well as your physical and spiritual bodies, gifting them with knowing that all is well. Indra Shakur Sashaya Kikur Urashanarana Kusan, and just feel this slight pull from Mother Earth helping you to anchor even deeper per kotoshunu en trashantarakisan min urushao otashana ki arsata and breathe dear ones the breath is a, such a great tool to become present return to the now all right so Feel your body fully as you return to your room and space. And I hope this helps you, that it serves you, help you feel more here, more grounded, to fully receive the blessings. Thank you.